Hey, George, check this out. That's the Fruit Loop I was telling you about, Lou. Me and Tony seen him here last night. I'll whistle for Marie. Then let's rush him. Life is like a rotten egg. It stinks and stinks and stinks. Hold it, clowny. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, gentlemen. I am Madcap, the heartbringer of hilarity, the pundit of pointlessness. Why is that bull, huh? We's the Coney Island cruises, and we don't take kindly to fops prancing around on our turf. Nuff yankin, with him. Let's stomp the creep. My pleasure, Georgie. Hoo ha! Are we having fun yet? Tough guy, huh? Let's see a grin after I take a shot at your plexus! You fellows are too much! Simply too much! <laughs> Step aside, guys! I'm gonna puncture the punk! <laughs> you guys slay me! Hey! He's just standing there! Why ain't he fallen? How the? He wanted them super dupers? Now boys, don't you know I come with a warranty? It says he takes a snapping and keeps on gabbing! Oh, here's your knife back! Fun's fun, boys, but playtime's over! A guy can't dance all night. Besides, I gotta go home and stitch up the hole you put in my shirt. Now here's something you really like. Ah, uh, if only the effects of my fun gun were permanent. Sayonara, suckers! Home. Home for the strange, where the queer and the cantaloupe play, where seltzer is heard. Come in, Madcap. I've been expecting you. Huh? Who? Who are you? You remember me, Madcap? A few days ago, on Broadway, we tussled a bit. Yes. Now I remember! What are you doing here? How did you find me? Some fancy detective work. Hey, sit down. Make yourself at home. Yes, I'll make myself at home. This is my home after all. Nice place you have here. You decorated it yourself? Mm-hmm. Sure I don't get a lot of visitors. Less than none, actually. How come you're here? No reason at all. I like that! Ha <laughs> ha! Good answer! Say, can I get you a soda, Mr. Uh... My name is Nomad. Good name! Nomad! No... Mad? It's close to my name, Madcap! Do people call you Gnome for short, or not for long? I thought over what you were telling the people on the street the other day. You know, how randomness rules everything. Reality doesn't make sense. Life is a series of meaningless events. I've come to the conclusion I agree with you. You do? That doesn't make sense. Why should you? No particular reason. I just looked at my life and realized all you said applies to it. Ha! Huh, this is rich! Someone among the countless cootie heads I've tried to turn to meaninglessness actually listened! Ain't that a hoot and a holler? While I was waiting for you, I read that newspaper clipping you have tacked to the wall. Odd story. I can't imagine you have it up for any reason. Oh, but you're wrong. Things sometimes have reasons, just not always. 
If things never had reasons, the universe would be an orderly place, just as it would be if things always had reasons. But if they only sometimes have reasons, the universe is in true chaos. I see. Then the clipping is about you. That's right, Nomad. Me. I used to be a very normal person. I couldn't see the universe the way it really is. I used to believe life had a purpose, that there was a reason for everything. I used to believe God was in his heaven and all was right with the world. Then one day, my church group was going on a field trip to Bear Mountain. My parents were along as chaperones. My kid sister Katie was aboard too. Then, without a warning, a tanker truck came out of nowhere and rammed us. A truck must have been full of something flammable. It exploded and took the bus with it. I was thrown clear by the explosion. I remember how it felt lying there, my blood intermingling with the greenish chemicals seeping from the truck. It was the last thing I ever felt. As I drifted in and out of consciousness, I remember seeing funny yellow men walking around. They looked like they stepped out of a flying saucer. Aim Agent 17 to base. Truck containing compound X07 destroyed. Contents evaporated. No living witnesses. Next thing I knew, I was in a hospital with doctors swarming all around me. Remarkable! Impact of 100 miles per hour collision! Flung 30 feet in an explosion, lay for hours without medical attention! And now, not a scratch on him! No internal damage! Finally, I fought my way to consciousness. One question burning on my tongue. Doctor! The other people on the bus! How are- I'm afraid you're the only one who made it, son. As soon as I heard that, my faith in a sane, rational universe snapped. It did not make sense that I alone survived an accident that killed 42 others. It did not make any sense. Although my body was unscathed, the doctors wanted to keep me under observation. I thought to myself, nuts to them. I escaped before they could transfer me to the psycho ward. Outside, there was a car speeding toward me. I ran in front of it. And then it hits me. Mom! Dad! Katie! I'm coming! I wanted to join my family and friends in the invisible choir. But instead, I just got up and dusted myself off. The cuts and scrapes and breaks healed before my eyes. I never felt the impact. I didn't even black out. I can't be hurt anymore! But why? It doesn't make sense! Why did I benefit from an accident that killed everyone I love? The answer to that question occurred to me a few days later. No reason at all! Things just happen, that's all, without cause or effect. For no real reason, I decided to tell others the great truth I discovered. I stopped into a costume shop and picked up some snappy looking duds. If I wanted people to listen to me, I had to get them to notice me first. And so, dubbing myself Madcap, I set out to show the world how to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Wow, you're right. Life makes no sense whatever. Not yours, not mine, nobody's. Say, where'd you get the crazy bubble gun? You mean my fun gun? I bought it at Woolworths. A buck forty-nine it cost me. Now if you'll excuse me, gnome, 
I've got to get some sleep. I've got a full day to food for ahead of me. You can sleep on the chair if you want. Thanks. You're a trusting sort. Me being a stranger and all. I'm not afraid you'll kill me in my sleep if that's what you mean.